Hi everyone, so for today's video I have decided that I'm going to talk about the foundations that I keep in my foundation kit. So it's quite heavy actually. So um, all of the foundations that I like to use not only on myself but also on clients is kept in this foundation kit and this always goes with me wherever I go especially when I am working. So these are my go-to foundation brands and you know foundation formulas and um, I have used them for years now and they have proved to be quite helpful. Um, especially when I want to create a certain look on the face. Now, um, the main reason why I decided to show you guys this today is because I was actually on the verge of like, you know, fixing my stuff because I was at work yesterday. And sometimes, you know, when you come back from work, everything is like, you know, in a jumble. So I was just like, you know, starting to put them back into their proper places. And when I saw my foundation kit, I said, maybe I should talk about this because there was an interesting, um, like, you know, conversation about foundations in the past two videos that I just posted before this vlog. So I said, mm, maybe um, it's high time that I should talk about um, the foundations that I like to use. And um, I've actually been debating uh, making a video for this like um, I guess a while back, but um, you know, I don't really tend to purchase a lot of different types of foundations from different brands because um, knowing me and um, things that I like to do is that when I find something that I like from a particular brand, I end up like, you know, um, being loyal to them. So um, I felt um, inadequate um, talking about like, you know, foundations, especially when I don't have a lot of experience from um, different brands, uh, like, you know, across the cosmetics industry. But anyway, so I'm hoping that in me talking about the foundation products that I like to use um, will prove insightful to those who have been like, you know, interested in knowing the products that I like to use for myself and even for work. And um, before we take a deep dive into my foundation kit here, I would like to say that I'm shooting under natural light, but I have some artificial light on because it's very cloudy. So um, I just need something to brighten up uh, the screen today. Well, um, I'm kind of sad a little bit that it's not sunny today because like, you know, um, when you're actually testing out foundations for yourself, it's always best to do it under natural light. But also, um, it's actually great to um, try putting on foundation when it's like, you know, cloudy and overcast because sometimes it just creates a much more even lighting all throughout, which is actually perfect. So um, anyway, so those are technical things, but let's get into today's video. Now, first things first, before we get into foundation application, let me talk about skincare a little bit because it's very important that you have to prepare your skin and you have to have a, like, you know, proper skincare regimen that fits your skin type so that the foundation that you apply on top after will actually work better. So let me just like, you know, um, go through the um, skincare products that I use on myself. So after cleanser, I use a toner. So I actually use two different types of toners. One is the VMV Hypoallergenics Monoloarine Plus Mandelic Acid Toner. So this is an AHA and I use this all over my face. And I also use this Id Bump Free Toner so this one has salicylic acid so I use this as a spot treatment and I primarily use this in my nose area or in my t-zone where I'm usually oily so it just really helps to control the oil there and also it shrinks my pores so that's very very important for me and after that I apply some tree of life beauty vitamin C serum my go-to um, vitamin C serum after which I proceed and apply the tree of life beauty vitamin C eye gel so that's very important for me I find this to be very very um, like you know soothing and I find it to be very plumping as well. Now um, after that I apply the vitamin C uh, moisturizer from Tree of Life Beauty all over and then I finish my skin off with the Id Monolorean gel and I primarily use this in my nose area or in my t-zone because this is like a mattifying gel which really helps to like you know make sure that I don't get a lot of sebum coming out from my skin because after all I'm very oily and to seal everything on my skin I use the Armada uh, Sport 70. This is the sunscreen from the MB Hyperallergenics. This is water resistant. This is like, you know, full spectrum. And this is my go-to sunscreen. I wear this every single day. So once all of that is set, applied on my face and, you know, it has like, you know, dried down, I then proceed into my foundation application. So, and that's what we're going to be doing right now. All right. So I'm going to start first by talking about the lightest 
well, it's not foundation basically, but it's um, like you know tinted moisturizer. And my favorite tinted moisturizers, I have two. So one is from BMB Hypoallergenics, and this is their Skin Tangible. Um, skin loving, no makeup, makeup, skin intelligent beauty. So it's a very long name, but it's actually like a BB cream of sorts. And it comes in this like, you know, glass pump. And it is this consistency. And as you guys can see, if we just like, you know, spread it here at the back of my hand, it has a very like, you know, olive tone to it. Also slightly yellow. And it's actually very, very light. And this is actually what I use if like, you know, I want to minimize the redness that I see on my skin because after all it has like you know a, an olive tint to it. It'll just create a very nice like you know neutral color on the face. So if you are someone who actually prefers to wear like you know very light makeup, not so much um, like you know coverage, things like that, you can actually try and use this. Um, by the way, this is um, a Filipino brand. Um, it is widely available here in the Philippines, but they are also available on Amazon and they have spa partners in Europe and they're also available in the United States By the way, they have a physical store in New York So if you're interested to get to know this brand, you can go and check them out I'm gonna put the details down in the description box and as you guys can see it's very skin like It's also very radiant and it's very very light So I love using this but I do have to say though that there's only a specific number of um, skin colors that you can use this with because of the very light tint to it and also of the color base of the BB cream. And I just use my fingers with this and I just like you know spread it all over. Now by the way I don't use primers because um, primers is a relatively new thing. When I started doing makeup primers were not available yet. So um, that's primarily why I don't use primers. You don't see me talk about them um, a lot because I find no use for them. Because after all, I have realized that if you just take care of your skin and you use the correct skincare products for your skin type, the makeup that they apply after will just work very well for you. All right, and the other tinted moisturizer that I like to use is the Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer from NARS. And I actually keep this um, in my counter upstairs because my partner loves using this. So the consistency of this is actually very lightweight, but it has more pigmentation in comparison to the VMV Hypoallergenic Skin Tangible BB Cream that I just used earlier. So this will actually offer more coverage, but you still have that very nice, like, you know, silky feel and it has like some moisturizing effect. Now, I'm not going to apply this on my skin right now because it's just way too dark for me, but this actually works well for my partner. And sometimes when I tan, I use this, especially after like, you know, three days when my tan starts to fade and I start to look ashy. I apply this on top of my skin and then the radiance comes back and, the, the, you know, the warmth comes back. And it just makes me look nice and um, like, you know, not burnt or not ashy. That's very important because having a tan is not healthy because tanning is an indication that your skin actually got hurt as we all know right now burning is actually not good for the skin so those are the two tinted moisturizers that i love and use um, on a regular basis okay next let's proceed to maybe like you know lightweight foundations and when i think of lightweight i think of the lisa eldridge seamless skin um foundation so um wonderful packaging very modern very artistic and the reason why i am saying that this is lightweight is because with like you know two pumps like this and you get a traditional type of a foundation brush and when you apply this it applies a very subtle coverage which you can actually build up into a much more like you know medium type of um, coverage and I also love this um, foundation from Lisa because it has a lot of antioxidants in it and then it has like you know some skin tightening qualities which I actually love but most of all her foundation has like you know the foundation color that I need because I have olive tones in my skin so I need a foundation that has like you know a hint of green on it and I just really love how like you know light this is and how like you know how breathable it feels on my skin now truthfully um sometimes I find this to be a little bit too lightweight 
and a little bit too like you know thin that um, I do not use this on a lot of my female clients especially when they have blemishes because you would actually need to work more to build the coverage that you need with this foundation but I love using the Lisa Eldridge Seamless Skin Foundation on a lot of my male actors that I work with because they love how light it is and they also love that it kind of like matches their skin tone it's actually quite amazing so as you guys can see, it has a very nice brightening quality to it and it matches my skin perfectly. It doesn't look too yellow because that's an indication to me anyway that if a foundation looks too yellow, it's going to be, it's just way too dark for you and it's actually the wrong um, undertone. And again, because this has olive tones in it, this really, really like, you know, blocks out all the redness and it creates this very nice even finish on my skin. It's truly lovely. I love it. Now, if there's one other foundation that I could say is comparable to the Lisa Eldridge Seamless Skin, it's actually the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Now, um, I just got this last year when I went to Spain, and I have been actually um, like you know wanting to try out this foundation for a very long time but the main problem that I have with this is that it's not accessible for me here in the Philippines so um, I need to fly either to Europe or I need to fly to Singapore to purchase this so um, it makes it a little bit expensive um, you can actually start by applying a very like you know thin layer of this foundation so that you have this very like you know light coverage and if you are actually able to find your correct shade with this foundation line, it's actually going to look very, very seamless. So the foundation color that I'm using is number six. So this has a very nice olive tone to it. So as you guys can see, I'm just adding a very thin layer of this luminous silk. And it's actually creating a very nice, like, you know, lightweight coverage on my skin. Now, for me, I do believe that the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation is a true buildable medium coverage type of a foundation in comparison to that of Lisa's um, foundation. Because this one is very light to begin with, and then you build this up. While the um, Luminous Silk Foundation for Armani, as soon as you apply it, I can already see some coverage. So I don't really need to work as much to build the coverage that I need. So as you guys can see, I'm just like, you know, putting this two foundation products side by side. And I can actually say that they, they, are, they are almost very similar, especially in tone. Um, there's just a slight difference where in the Lisa Eldridge here is actually lighter and brighter, while the Luminous Silk Foundation here is more skin-like. It's also very radiant, uh, but you don't see the olive tones um as obviously as the Lisa Eldridge uh, foundation but I do love it because these are the two foundations which actually matches my skin perfectly so it's just it's my skin tone and that's one thing that's very important for me when I am shopping for foundation if I find a color that matches my skin perfectly I'm gonna fall in love with that All right, so now before we proceed into the next foundation product I'm just gonna get some makeup wipes so that I'm going to remove all of this color first okay so this is going to be our process today after applying some foundation i'm going to remove it with some makeup wipe and then i'm going to proceed and use this fix plus spray from mac just so that we have a nice clean base to start with and i'm just going to blot everything with tissue now i'm going to skip applying some of my skincare products now because it's just going to be um, a waste because i'm going to end up removing them anyway so this is going to be an exception to the makeup process that I usually do when I, I, when I apply foundation. All right, and now for a true medium coverage foundation, I like to use the Essay Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Now, I'm not going to use this on my skin today because I used this on a previous vlog. So I'm going to put that vlog on the description box so you can see this um, foundation in action now um this is actually a, for me this is a true medium coverage foundation wherein when you apply it on the skin instantly you see coverage and you can actually build it into a much more fuller type of a coverage on the skin um but the main problem that i have with this is that one the merchandising here doesn't carry the entire um, color range of the foundation so i would need to mix these two foundation colors to get my skin tone so it's quite tedious to do that actually especially if i don't have time when i'm working now the other thing also that i have noticed with this foundation is that i cannot use this with a gel blush or you know um those 
long wear type of blush products because I find that those two um, formulations don't work together. As, like for example, this Glossier Cloud Paint, when I use these two products together, I have a difficult time actually creating a very soft blush look using this. So I think um, it's their volatile silicones and also the way that they dry down because this dries down quite fast and this also dries down quite fast. So um, like, you know, when these two meet and like, you know, they start drying down together they create patchiness on the skin. When I'm working with um, the Estee Lauder Double Wear, I actually use cream blushes because I find it's actually easier to work the cream blush on the skin on top of this foundation. Now, I also have these Laura Mercier um, Flawless Lumia Radiance Perfecting Foundation. It's one of my go-to foundations and I'm going to mix two colors for us today so that hopefully it can give me <laughs> the skin tone that I need um, maybe these two colors and um, anyway so the reason why I like using these foundations from Laura Mercier is because um, I have noticed when I use this on set it just radiates so much luminosity and like you know a very nice like you know it like it gives your face a very nice halo kind of um, effect um, if you know what I mean, that's just like the best way that I can describe when I am using this foundation. And I find that when I use this, um, I actually don't need to use highlighters anymore on top of it. And like, you know, um, it's actually quite amazing because I don't, it, it just minimizes um, the my job, like, you know, in applying a ton of product just to give me the look that I want. And also it gives me like, instant um, medium coverage especially when I go to town with it and you know me when I'm working I don't really have a lot of time so if I have like a medium coverage foundation that applies it instantly I'm going to be a fan of it so um, maybe you guys can see it already because the Sun is coming out a little bit so it's creating this very luminous finish on my skin and it's creating a very soft focused look even much more softer than the Essay Lauder Double Wear and I think it's just like you know the light is being reflected back by like you know a lot of this like you know pearls here on this foundation and I really love this for that and I find that, you know, when I use this foundation on actresses, um, I get a lot of, like, you know, amazing compliments wherein, like, you know, the skin looks amazing, looks very radiant. It looks like it's got Photoshop things, like, which is actually true. And I think you guys can see it already here. Like, you know, you can see that it's already being very bright here in the under eye area. It's giving this very nice, like, you know, medium coverage already. And it, and it doesn't even look cakey. And, I, and it's actually very easy to blend out. And to spread out just like anything else you can actually use this foundation you can start light and you can build into like a much more medium type of a coverage or you can go on and create this like medium coverage instantly and i like using um you know these types of foundation brushes now because i find that they're actually able to hold um, these pigments quite nicely and it's actually able to apply these foundations quite nicely and also to blend them out at the same time so as you guys can see look at that very nice very luminous very radiant I love this uh, foundation oh and one other foundation that has been hiding behind the bottles here in my foundation kit is actually the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless foundation so I love 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 this foundation not only the formula is great but also the color is great now for a drugstore brand quote unquote um, Maybelline is the only brand that has a foundation that matches my skin quite nicely which is like you know it doesn't really match me perfectly but it like you know it's quite acceptable to me so I have here the color um, 220 which is natural beige now I have used this foundation extensively in a lot of my like you know videos here on YouTube and I really love it because after all I have oily skin and I think I am running out of foundations I need to get myself another bottle but anyway so I do love the color of this I do love the finish and truthfully i would prefer to actually buy this than let's say the mac studio fix now this foundation is very lightweight as well 
but you can also use this to build into a much more fuller type of a coverage. And there are times though that, um, you know, I find that this is going to be just too yellow for me. But if I just want to have a very like, you know, light foundation um, application on my face, just to bring down the redness and to add some coverage, I love using this. Now this has a very nice skin-like quality that I like. Like, you know, in comparison to the Laura Mercier, can you just see how radiant the Laura Mercier is? Very soft focus. Well, this one is a bit more natural. You can still see very natural skin peeking through. And if you want to add more coverage, you can do that. But I'm just being very careful with it because after all, this is a, like, you know, matte type of a foundation. So it can get cakey. Also, if you apply way too much. But then again, this foundation has worked very well with me. I tried using this foundation once when I was shooting a commercial and it required the model to keep on diving into the water and, you know, coming back out. And truthfully, the foundation has survived. And the only time I find when this foundation will break down is when you start rubbing yourself so like you know when the model started like you know really like you know patting her face with a towel just to remove the uh, the um like you know the water it starts to break down but what i've noticed is when she rose out of the water i can just see the i, I was just able to see the water like you know run through the surface of the skin so that to me was like an amazing experience and that was one of the main reasons why this maybelline Fit Me Matte and Pores Foundation is a staple in my foundation kit. Okay, so look at that. So these are the difference. So the uh, Laura Mercier Flawless, such a mouthful, what's the name of this? The Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. As the name implies, it's a very perfecting and very radiant. And then we have this matte and poreless foundation from Maybelline. Very nice and very even. And they have and they deliver different finishes, but I do love the color. I do love the coverage. And I do love using them for different types of needs when I am working. All right, so now let's proceed. And the next foundation that I'm going to be talking about is a staple in my kit. And it's actually the MAC full coverage foundation so it comes in a packaging like this and as you guys can see here this is a cream foundation and it's actually gives a very opaque finish on the skin so this is what i actually use if i want to go on full coverage on the face like if i need to like you know, if i'm working with someone who has like very textured skin a lot of pimples and especially those who like you know underwent maybe some skin treatments and like you know their pimples have dried down and um, it has a lot of blemishes and it has been scabbing all over this is my go-to foundation for um, those types of needs if i'm going to say that now also one other thing because this is a cream foundation i'm actually able to depot them into um, these types of packaging so at least when i go to work i don't need to bring this entire um, foundation um, packaging because it takes up so much space in my makeup kit okay so let me show you guys how I use this so I'm going to use I'm gonna mix these three colors together because like you know I just have to get my proper skin tone or let's try anyway <laughs> so what I'm doing right now is at this part of my palette where it's like you know empty I am actually mixing the three colors together and the texture kind of changes it becomes more emollient and moisturizing so i'm saying that it's very important that before you use this foundation you have your skin has to be well prepared and to be well moisturized so that this product will just like you know glide effortlessly on the skin and also one other thing i do have to say though is that you also have to be very wary because there are some people who i know who does not um, again, their skin doesn't react nicely to MAC uh, foundations. So that's one thing that you have to um, be considerate about. And um, also one other thing, this foundation can get cakey extremely fast. So my the, the main thing that I need to let you guys know is that you can actually work by adding like you know very thin layers of this foundation on the skin. So as you guys can see, I'm just like, you know, really buffing out the foundation 
here in this area and I'm using a very thin layer so that we can already see this has a very nice like you know coverage to it and it's also like you know helping correcting the tones of my skin and because this is a cream formula it's actually thick enough to act like a concealer if you're finding that the consistency of this foundation is just too much for you you can either use like a moisturizer or a foundation primer to really thin out the consistency of this foundation okay so this is how you apply a thin layer of this foundation on the face now if you want to go on full coverage you have to have a much more thicker and denser foundation uh, brush for this so this is the Chikohodo PF4 and I'm just going to load the brush head with a ton of the product and what I'm gonna do is I am just going to go into town with it and I am just showing you guys where I am going to use this foundation if I want to add more coverage and just usually in my beard area so I'm just like you know using this brush in like a tapping motion and I'm actually applying the foundation in the opposite direction from the growth of my hair so that it's going to go in between the hair follicles and it will also minimize the appearance of the gray tones of my beard or like you know the green tones and just like that as you guys can see it has instantly covered my beard and it has created this very flawless um, looking finish on my skin so if you have a lot of texture and if you find that there are some foundations there that don't work for you check this cream foundation from mac maybe this will work for you hang on look at that it's actually erasing the natural color of my lip already so it's actually quite thick it's quite opaque but again just be very careful with this foundation because it can get cakey quite fast so if there are certain areas in your face that you don't need coverage then you just add like you know whatever was left on the brush head I'm just gonna apply it here on this part of my face so that you guys can see it and I'm just going to tap the product and try to blend it well and press it well into my skin now I also use this foundation if I want to cover my like you know brow hairs like like when I'm doing like drag so like you know after I put on the glue it has dried and then I apply this cream foundation on top of the um, eyebrows it actually disappears now the only thing that um, I don't like about this foundation is that I need to work very hard with it so it's actually not easy to work with and also um, I have to be mentally prepared to know that I need to really set this foundation down with powder so you can actually use like you know translucent powder if you want to but I actually like using translucent powder with a powder puff let me get it that's why I'm actually um, going backwards okay so I have here my Laura Mercier loose translucent powder and then I have a powder puff here so I've loaded um, some powder into the tips here and I'm just going to rub it together and this is what I'm going to use to pat in the powder to set the foundation and as you guys can see it's already becoming quite radiant quite fast it's because of the emollient um, in this foundation okay and just like that we have this very opaque finish on my skin so as you guys can see it's very full coverage like to me this is what full coverage is and um it really like you know erases every single pore every single imperfection but again i'm just being very careful with it because like you know this is quite ideal when i'm doing this uh, video because we have light here in front of us so it's really like you know evening it, evening it out there are some things that you have to um accept when you are like you know using foundation the only thing that the foundation can do is to apply a very nice even color on your skin but it will not minimize texture and when you are talking with someone especially in close range face to face they will see every single texture on your skin except the color of that texture now when I'm using the MAC full coverage foundation it's always automatic that I always pair it with the MAC studio fix 
uh, powder foundation because I know that I need to build like you know um, coverage on the skin and to create like you know opacity and like you know really build the coverage so um i go ahead and use like a much more fluffier and softer and airier brush like this chikahodo mk um brush and i'm gonna pick up a little bit of the studio fix foundation powder and i'm just gonna apply it in areas where i want to have more brightness because at least this brush head will not pick up a ton of the powder and this will just really help not to make this makeup look very very cakey but if i am working with someone who has a ton of um like you know texture and i just really need to go to town with it that's when i get a much more thicker type of a brush head let's say like a where is the ah it's drying hang on like the sonia g buffer pro brush and i just like you know swirl the brush head here on top of this foundation powder and I just pat it generously on top of the foundation. And I really love using this brush for this particular um, reason because it will not disturb the foundation that we applied earlier. So again, you know, you don't have to do this type of foundation application every day. I only use this when I'm doing drag maybe or when I'm doing stage makeup or when I just really need to cover texture on the skin. And look at that. I guess you guys can see on how opaque and on how flat the surface of my skin is. And also I really do need to add some powder on this just so that we will set the cream a foundation so that whatever powder product that you apply on top of this will it will actually like you know glide nicely on the skin because after all we're using like you know this was a very thick like you know cream foundation and the thing with cream products is that if you don't set it it can cling to the products that you apply on the skin and can make it look like very very muddy if you are someone who wants to have this type of a like you know makeup application wherein it you have this very nice clean canvas this tandem the mac full coverage foundation and the mac studio fix will really work for you oh look at that my gosh i haven't had this type of a foundation application in a very long time and one other thing i think this product is creating some buzz on the internet right now because jennifer lopez used this in one of her videos for vogue recently and it's actually the bobby brown bbu palette so what's so amazing with the bbu palette is that in one side you have a lot of these like you know um concealers and correctors and on the other side, you have a ton of foundation colors that you can use for yourself. Now, I don't use this for work anymore, but I keep it in my um, foundation kit because I want to use this as reference. And um, truthfully though, even if I've had this since 2015, we don't see breakdown of the product. Because like, you know, there are some products right now, especially with creams that uh, like, you know, after a year, you would start to see molding happening on the um, palette. Um, like even like, you know, with the concealers and with the correctors, you don't see any molding at all, which is actually quite amazing. And truthfully to me, this is still in good condition. And although if I don't use it at work, I'm going to use this for us today so that you guys can see it because I have a feeling that um, this foundation like you know this bb palette might come back in like you know circulation because jennifer lopez used it so um you know if you guys have seen that video just saw how much she just like you know pounced on these three colors here and she actually used this for um her like you know contouring so i haven't used this foundation in a really long time but we will just use this today for the sake of this video and i really do hope though that they will bring back this foundation palette into the market because it's actually a very good palette especially if you are a makeup artist because you have a lot of the colors already available in that palette all you have to do is just bring that to work and you're good to go so i am using the color i think i picked up the color natural here and um the only thing though that i can say is that it's a very yellow tone foundation so um it will not work with a lot of skin tones especially if you are someone who has a much more beigey tone or like you know who has like you know pinks in your undertone this will not 
work for you but the red tones do come out especially in the um, deeper colors of the foundation here and this is how the foundation applies on the skin it's actually very lightweight it's actually lighter than the full coverage foundation from MAC so as you guys can see it's very emollient it's very it looks very moisturizing it's also quite skin like so if you have dry skin this foundation will actually work for you now the scent of this like you know even if I've had this since 2015 like you know it doesn't smell funky it just smells like makeup with no scent at all because after all this is an American brand so this cannot be scented I can't really say that this gives a like you know full coverage type of an application but it gives like a nice like you know light medium coverage like it's like you know thick enough to tone down redness but I don't think this is thick enough to cover like you know my beard area or certain blemishes things like that but I've said earlier if you have dry skin and if you just want like you know a very moisturizing feeling you can actually use this now um although at the time of this video that I am making, this is not available. The colors that you see here are actually available to purchase in their foundation sticks. Let me double check that. Let me get my phone. Yep, so the foundation stick is still available to purchase. Um, although the uh, colors that you see here um, is very limited. It's not the entire range of the foundation sticks um, that Bobbi Brown sells. But it's a, like, especially as I've said, if you are a makeup artist, this is actually a very nice palette to have in your kit. All right, and to round out this video, I'm going to talk about one other product that got mixed into my foundation kit because it's not actually for the face, but I consider it to be foundation for the body and it's actually the Fenty Beauty Body Sauce. Now the color that I have here is called Pearl Swirl and this is actually for light skin tones. I have one more which is called Honey Honey which is in my makeup kit over there which is for deeper skin tones and the reason why I love using this is because this actually just adds a very nice hint of color into the skin. It, had, it adds a very nice radiance to it. And it just really, like you know really helps to even out the skin tone especially from the neck down like you know neck decolletage shoulder area arms especially if you are someone who like you know is using is wearing like you know sleeveless um, um, clothes or like you know um, tank tops things like that so um, this is actually a nice product to use and I love it it's one of my go-to um, like you know foundation products for the body and I also do have to say it's actually very easy to build up the intensity and the coverage of this so you can just actually layer it on and it actually stays quite nicely and it actually lasts long on the skin look at that look how pretty that is and I love the scent of this um, body product it's so summery like you know with the citrus notes on it the vanilla notes and the coconut notes smell so nice on the skin yeah so those are the foundations that I have in my foundation kit and um, if there's anything else I would like to say is that I don't really believe that a foundation should last for 24 hours like you know 18 hours 30 hours on the face because foundation is something temporary and for me just basing on like you know how I work is that I know that there will always come a time that you would need to touch up your foundation and of course because our body is like you know a breathing being and like you know it works in certain ways when you start to heat up when you start to sweat when your body oils start to come out your foundation will always break down so always like you know have your foundation with you when you go out or have a small tube of it so when the foundation starts to break down on your face you can always touch it up okay so um, that's my philosophy with foundation trust me I have worked in like you know very challenging situations at work and sometimes the foundation has broken up in like you know 30 minutes and like you know there are some foundations that are touted to be long wearing long lasting but no it doesn't it still breaks down again it's just temporary and it's something that is um, applied on top of your skin you know just like your clothes like you, you put it on top of your body it starts to crinkle it's the nature 
of such products. So, um, like, you know, so when you are reading foundations that are long lasting, things like that, um, just take it with a grain of salt. But um, if there's anything that's very important that you have to, um, like, you know, do is that you have to find the perfect foundation for you in terms of, um, like, you know, the color and the formula. Because if you are able to find that, that foundation will be the much, the perfect match for you and it will be a staple in your makeup kit. Or like you know in your um, bag for a very long time because that's what's very important you have to have a foundation that matches your skin perfectly because that way it becomes seamless so um, I can't think of anything else about tips I think that's it so if you guys have any more questions about like you know all of the foundation products that I showed you guys today all of the brushes that I use please leave them down in the comments box and let's have a conversation about it okay all right so I'm gonna let you guys go now thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being here and I hope that you're having a good day wherever you are bye